The fierce and scourging fire, is consuming the house at a rapid rate. Clara is in shock, as she watches their home burn down to ashes. She cannot get through the street, because fire trucks are barricading it. But no one was able to stop her, when she suddenly sprinted towards her burning home. As she was approaching it, a burning woman came out of the house, screaming maniacally. Clara stopped momentarily and stared at her. She cried and shouted, Mom! The woman turned her burning gaze at Clara, as she slowly fell on her knees, while reaching out to her daughter. Then, the woman finally slumped on the stony pavement, her body, still burning. At that moment, Clara lost her young mind. She kept staring at the burnt corpse of her mother. Her small world shattered. After the tragedy, her aunt Nadia and her family took care of her. Clara seemed to have moved on. Her aunt was relieved to see her smile again, but she noticed something peculiar about her. Clara was, immediately happy, as if the tragedy did not happen. Also, she and her family noticed that after the fire and the death of her mom, Clara started smelling like she was burning. Her scent was nauseating and sweet. Sometimes, putrid and steaky. Other times, she smells like leather being tanned over a flame. Then one day, Nadia was called by Claire's grade school teacher, to talk about the child's unusual and bizarre scent. The teacher informed her, that her classmates are beginning to be disturbed and creeped out, because of Claire's burnt smell. They tried to wear masks but still, her nauseating scent can still be smelled. The other students from the other classes were wearing masks as well, because when Clara walks by the corridor, her burnt smell lingers and stays there. The students are staying away from her, making her an outcast. Nadia told the teacher that they have already consulted doctors about her condition. But they did not find anything wrong with her, physically and mentally. In fact, they were also clueless about the burnt smell coming from her. Nadia just hoped that despite people avoiding her, Clara will maintain her high spirit. But little did everyone know, that Clara is not bothered at all, by people avoiding her, and the burnt smell. Because, as long as her mother, is always by her side, following her, wherever she may go, Clara can endure any nauseating scent, coming from the charred, and burnt body, of her dearest, mom. Dante has received yet another complaint from his customers, as they enter the restaurant while covering their noses. They said that a stinking, homeless old man, is sleeping just beside the establishment's entrance. He apologized to his patrons, and assured them that he will take care of it immediately. Indeed, the old man's stench is reeking as he went outside to drive him away. He saw the unsightly old man, lying on the cold ground. Anyone who would set eyes on him, will definitely lose appetite. Dante has received several complaints about the homeless old man in the past, but every time he chews him, he always comes back the following day. The old man is becoming a nuisance to him, affecting his food business. Then in a flash, Dante kicked hard the old man, who was startled in his sleep. He continued kicking him, until he scrammed away from the store. He felt an instant gratification for what he did. He hoped that the old man will never bother him again. For the rest of the day, business went well, and the old man was never seen again, anywhere near the establishment. The next morning, Dante saw police cars in front of his restaurant as he was approaching it. He became alarmed and nervous, because he saw a pool of blood in front of the store. He immediately descended from his car, and talked to one of the cops. He introduced himself as the owner, then asked what happened. The officer told him that there was an attempted robbery last night. Fortunately, nothing was stolen because a civilian bravely confronted and stopped the robbers. But in a bad turn of events, the civilian was shot, and died in an instant. The police officer asked to see the CCTV footage of the incident, to which Dante obliged. As they were watching the video, Dante's jaw dropped in disbelief. He saw two men trying to open the front door, but suddenly, a familiar figure tried to stop them. It was a stinking, homeless old man. They ended up in a fist fight. Then suddenly, one of the robbers shot the old man on the head. 
He immediately slumped on the ground, blood flowing slowly from his head. Dante was in tears. He was in shock. He could not believe that despite how he treated him, a stinking old man would do such an act, knowing that his life would be in danger. Dante felt deep remorse and shame, as he repeatedly played the footage, of the old man's, heroism. 